Hi everyone, so this is a tutorial video for the Google Slides scavenger hunt. You'll see there are different chapters and timestamps. You can jump right to specific sections or specific slides on the scavenger hunt. So happy hunting. So I'm going to walk you through each piece here. So you're going to notice you're going to scroll through here and see the items are in purple. There's one challenge on each slide. So the first one here is change the background of this slide to a beach scene. So there's a couple different ways we can do this. We can either select background from here and do it this way and choose image or we can right click on the slide hit change background go to choose image we're going to do a couple different ones if you want to find one on the internet you could do it by url but for this one i just to make it real simple if you want to have your, your own photos or upload photos we're just going to do a google image search i'm just going to type in beach and whatever pick one insert done and now you have a beach scene for your background for number two change the theme of this presentation and add red text so we can either go up here to theme and click one or right click on the slide and do the same thing oops sorry about that change theme and then we can just select whatever one we want. I'll just stick with this one here to keep it light and simple. I was going to change the font, but that's okay. And I want to add red text. Okay, well, how do I do that? Oh, I don't have a text box. So I go up here, grab a text box. I like the color of the theme. Now you need to change that font. Red. You're done. Slide number three asks you to create a Venn diagram to compare and contrast Pacific and Atlantic Oceans. Use the Explore tool to find your information. So what we want to do to begin a Venn diagram is the two circles. So we're going to go up here, go to Shapes, and we're going to select a circle. So a big fat circle here. Now you're going to notice it automatically fills it in a color, which you can change up here. So we're going to want to do that to make a Venn diagram. So go to the Fill color option and select transparent. And now you'll notice there's no background. Great, so now we want a second circle. So we're gonna go ahead, you can right click and copy, or you can just hit Command C, Control V to paste it in there. And now you'll notice we have two circles. We have our Venn diagram. Now we have to, we're gonna to have to insert our text. So the first thing we wanna do is go over here. We're gonna say, uh, compare and contrast Atlantic Ocean. So we'll just say this is our Pacific Ocean. and it borders California. We'll even throw in a little thing for that, right? Now over here, you're gonna notice your text is automatically on the left, so you're going to have to realign it right here to the right side. Atlantic borders New York. Same thing if you want. Now to, in here, you're gonna have to add a text box. Up here, you select text box option. Drop that in there and then say borders USA. Make that a little wider if you wanted to make sure that you get the whole thing in there. That's up to you. Here is the explore tool here. You just simply type in Pacific ocean and all that information will pop up for you here moving on to the next slide make this slide any color of your choice and insert a picture of a location anywhere in the world on your bucket list right click on the slide change background we'll go ahead and make it how about black just make it real simple and then i'm going to insert a picture of anywhere in the world i'm going to, go to insert image We'll search the web. I'm going to say Buenos Aires because I would love to go to Buenos Aires. Slide the picture, drag it over. Now we have an image of anywhere we would like to go in the world. Slide five, use the big number layout to tell me what percentage of your time this summer was spent with your friends. 
So what we're going to do is just simply, we don't have a text box or anything in here. So we have to insert a text box. And I'm just going to write the number 75. And I'll say 50. I went camping a lot in West Virginia and North Carolina. Now we want to use the big number layout. So we want this to be a massive giant number. Pick whatever font you want. Doesn't really matter. We want this to be giant, like 72 or even higher. You can go up to 96 if you want. This is great for telling data, for instance. Tell me what percentage of your time is spent with someone with friends. Boom, we have this. You don't have to center a line if you want. You can. That's up to you. But use that big number design. Slide six, use scribble to draw a picture of your favorite food item. Now to do scribble, what you do is you go up to where you see this little line here. You click on the down arrow. And then at the bottom, you'll notice there is a scribble option. So I'm going to go ahead and I am going to design myself a piece of beautiful, beautiful pizza. Sort of. All right, I'm going to give me my crust up here. Oh, yeah, all good. This doesn't look too good, i got to be honest with you. All right, you got that option down. Now let's see here. I want to go, I want to add in some pepperoni. I'm just going to make a copy of that. And now I got myself some pepperoni. Beautiful. And then we got to get ourselves a little bit of cheese on here. So we're just going to kind of go in and kind of fill in some other areas. No big deal. Now we want to color our stuff. So, okay. I got my pepperoni box here. No big deal. I take that. Actually, you can probably do this before you even color it. Let's go ahead and hit line color or line weight. So here we're going to just make it a red. And we're going to color it like that. So that way it's all red. That's even a little bit too much red there, huh? Make it something like that. So you get the gist, right? Go through and do that with your coloring. You can go ahead and change the crust color if you would like. Whatever you want to do, make it like an orange. It's, up to, it's completely up to you. So that's the scribble option. Slide seven, describe your favorite summer experience in a font from the, more the, from the more fonts option and build a transition. So first thing we want to do is go up here and insert that text box. My favorite thing I did this summer was I went camping in the Outer Banks with my wife. Awesome trip. Now we want, first thing we want to do is, now the next thing we want to do actually, is the a font from the more font. So highlight what we want to change go here to the font option and when you click on the down arrow you'll notice there's something that some that says more fonts click on that then scroll through here and just pick one that you think is interesting that's not on the default list because you'll notice google has a default list you can search by popularity you can scroll through so maybe date added or whatever it's trending whatever that might be and grab will say fascinate okay cool and now it's changed Boom. Now the second, last thing we want to do is build a transition. To do, so to do so, we select transition. And we have no transition, so we want to change this to whatever it is that you would like. We'll do, uh, how about a flip? Sure. Play it just to check it out. There we go. And now you're good. It's there. So now when you hit present, when you come into that slide, it flips. There you go. Slide number eight. Use the slide to create a collage of tilted and overlapping images of your favorite things with borders and a drop shadow. To get images, use plus use Explorer tool down there in the bottom right corner. So I'm going to go ahead and just grab, uh, let's see, a picture of my favorite thing. So I'll grab a motorcycle. Camping. And we'll do one more of
do some biking here. So now I've got my three images. Now we want to make them so that they are overlapping and also have drop shadows. So the first thing I'm going to do is just arrange them how I want them to be. And I also need to tilt them. So now I've created, we have to tilt. So I'm just going to put my cursor here on the dot above the image and go ahead and I can tilt it any way I would like. Now I have my images tilted. Next is asking you to overlap the images. Next thing we want to do is it'll overlap the images. So what we're going to do is click on the image itself. And what you do is right click and you'll see it says order. We're going to send to back. And we're going to do the same thing with any of the items that you want. Send it to send to back. And now we're going to have this item here. We don't have to send it forward, but you could. I'm going to go ahead and change this. Move it around a little bit. And the last thing that it asks you to do is the borders. I'm going to move this up a little bit too, kind of crushing out the one on the bottom there. Is the borders and drop shadow. So to do that, we just simply highlight all of our images. Go to Format Options. Add a drop shadow, makes the images pop a little bit, and then we come here to the border, border weight, just put a one on it. You can change the color here if you want, that's up to you, there's no requirement to do that. Find your favorite music video and insert into this slide, just go to video. All right, moves Bob Seeger. We're going to hit select. And here we are with Bob Seeger in there, ready to roll. Number 10, make a bolded list of your five favorite movies and make them appear one click at a time. So we need to enter a text box. I'm going to go Die Hard, Predator. Step Brothers. Oh boy. How about Pulp Fiction? And the classic Elvis on tour. If you haven't seen that, you're missing out in life. All right, now here's what we're going to do. We're going to first, we're going to go ahead and insert some bullets, extra numbers. And then we're going to make them all appear one at a time. So we're going to highlight. And we're going to go to animate. Now you're going to notice we has, it pops in here on the fade. But what we want to do is we want to change it to by paragraph. So now when we hit that space bar, they pop up one at a time. So make sure you hit that option. That says by paragraph, hit play, and now you're good to go.